the holidays that's coming up? Uh, is there something that you might want to look at over there? Other than that, that we're going to be going into um, into the drush on on uh, on the Katoris. So you might want to think about that. Uh, which I started looking at it because I I see it's a very long arichos in in some of what he's saying. Anyway, let's go over here on number Tav Reish Gimel in the Tzifra Zitzniuta. Now, where we actually got to, I believe this is what I believe this is where we're at. I'm gonna make some room for myself here. Okay, is on number Zion. In number Zion, there's a little Zion, and so we want to look at that. I think we're working okay. It says, "But favorite Shatalmud." This is where we at now. Maybe we read this. I'm not sure, but I know we didn't do the small print. So he says, "But favorite Shatalmud." He says, "Beer kan bezel the shonuki noida." Uh, this is a concept, okay? But you need two ivurim. Okay, we did probably read this, but we'll go over it again. Now, this is a concept that, uh, what does it mean, rock derek a yisod? In other words, in the, in, in the first, he wants to say that there's a yichud that takes place in between Zohar Venuk, let's say, Gimel go Gimel, he calls it, in the embryonic stage. Then after that, there's another stage, which would be another another gestation. But so the Ivor Palm base, this would be a second Ivor. Let me just read through it, and we'll come back to number Zion. So then he says, um, he says, uh, uh, so so if that is, is uh, let me see if I'm missing something, but Oz, so when this happens, uh, I'm not sure where where he means. Which happens is that you have an embryonic, a uh, 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 which is what the words he used. Uh, so he says. So he said that anyway. There's a separation here that seems to be there. They're translating of the yud by itself. So that really refers to the first time that they give birth. Now listen to this. He's saying that in the first time, in the embryonic stage, there's a birth there. There's a birth. Or does he mean that it's the the, the, the birth that takes place and produces the Zer Anpen as a Vak? I, that makes more sense. So he says, Ad Khan. He says it's the first, this is when Zer Anpen is first born out. He's born out as a cotton. So he says that this this is okay. It's it's the production of of kindness. So it is actually birth. It's the birth of zer anpin according to this. For us, misyachadim zer anpin v'nukva de arak derek hayisod. So he says when when this 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 phrase itself doesn't mean a lot to me. So he says that the yichud that takes place in kindness. Is a yikpu that's only derech yisod. So it need ta- needs explanation of what that means. Derech yisod, v'hina rabbi yisod who besod os yud. So let's look at it again. He said, "Let's the yisod is the uh, is the secret of the letter yud. That's the yud that's by itself." yud So he wants to say that that's the goes on the idea that this is a yichud of al derech yisod. Because now, before that we have reached, re, received these mochim, be'ivrsheni, misyachet rak hayud bilvad, that is yisod bilvad. So, the question is, is that what could that what could that possibly mean? Uh, it means that originally, uh, I'm thinking, uh, you know, because I did skim it, but I haven't looked at it lately. He's, I'm thinking that. Um, this is the this is the yisod where where is the yisod also has an atara to it, so like it's like that, so it's really all all happening in yisod. So I, maybe that's what it's talking about. Let's let's go over here and see if I could get this up, and read this. So we're now on number Zion way down here in the bottom. It says Zman shim be'ivor sheni who kushen nishlam teishu shonim v'yom echod lazer anpin. Okay, I would have thought it would be 12 years in a day, but he said, or 13 years in a day, and he said 9 years in a day. That's the time of, 
of the of of the yichud of the what do we call the yom echad the zeranpin? It's the who shenishlam teishu shon, and that's when he gets to that age. Okay, Ray. So Ray Bishar Mamari Rashbi he says, Zel the shono, v'nevayr ata rabbi inyan ha'iva rasheni shetzorach moche the the holeid. So let's talk about this. Is that we're going to talk about the giving birth to to godless. So let me see if I get this down here. Here it is. Is it a most? And he gives the site reference. Vatrin, uh, 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 Vatrin. He said, but begin, uh, uh, the Yonko Luhu Ima, this Averis Minaihu. Okay, we got lost in there. Okay, got back here. Okay, so let's go up to the top of this pay, this uh, this beer here that we're looking at. So he says he gives a side read. Ramasha calls the parshas achrei mos. So he says he he says betrin benin the the ima. So there are two children that that uh, she nurses that ima nurses. Visa averes minaihu vaafik lon lebaser, and so she becomes, I guess. Impregnated with them, and the afikos loan the boss, and then after I miss mean, a quote, so then they they come out. But you can understand this what we said before. So because they were already born one time, and she feed she nursed them then. I think let me let me see. The bosser, I'm not reading so good. The hachi. Uh, so then, after this, after the Atesh Shonim, Chaz Rechav is Averis Minaichu Besod Iver Sheni. So he says that this actually takes place. I guess the Iver Sheni starts at the at the age of nine year nine years and and uh, and a day. The Tzorach Hamoch and the Godless Kaniskar. I didn't say that they gave birth, but you know this is the first time you know according to halacha that a person say, let's say uh, could possibly. Uh, 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 you could be married, let's say that it, that you, you could engage in, in marriage acts. He says Shani the Tsurah Mochan later the Aganiska. Bahakah a fichuslon and after that she brings them they they come out from her, Ad Khan. Vishar uh, so it's a little bit vague what he's saying, but the Vishar Mamari Rashbi over there it says like this Beer Inyan Zam Vizer Anpen Vinukve uh 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 Bene Abba Vima, their children, right? Uh, olim uh uh bes over besod mayim nukvin lamala ba'ava ve'ima. So there's two different ways of looking at this, but the translation is is that they go up, going from the bottom to the top, which is mayim nukvin, up until their parents ava ve'ima. The, the, the other way to look at it is ava ve'ima come into them, but as a result of that, they actually attain uh the height of ava ve'ima. So that's another way of looking at it is that they're going up. Kadei lechadesh hamochim. So then why do they go up? They go up because it's a higher level and their mochin will become renewed and as a result of that, or bigger mochin, and as a result of that, uh, they will have a tremendous, uh, much stronger glow. This this elevation, so it's actually He's looking at it from the point of view of Zohar Venok. As they go up, they're actually going to achieve a position which will bring them into an Iver Shani, Shalomokhin the Godless Vahabinza. Okay, so that's a way of looking at it. So he says, But you have to look like this. The Yesh od Bechinus Iver Shani. There's more, more in the concept of Iver Shani. Let me move this up here a little bit. Uh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, thus, the Yesh od bechinas ivorsheni. There are other things that we could say in regards to the ivorsheni. He says la'achar beishanim. So he says after two yin, uh, two years of nursing, kabavuchar b'mabasharim. So there's another way to look at this. A different. Two, if they're born out, 
uh, and there that is during the embryonic stage. That's where Zerampin is born, and then you nurse it for two years. Let's say we said Vizel the Shana Vyesh Ever based the Mulkim. Take of Achav Beishanim Shal the Yunika, which happens immediately after Yunika. The Tzorach Vok the Godless, and what's the reason for this? This uh, this these Mulkim is for the Vok of of uh, 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 the Vok the Godless of Zerampin. Vyesh Ever based. Acher teish shana v'yom echad l'tzorach gar gar l'gadlus. So let me read this again. Just a v'yesh ever basis, the second ever. So that's supposed to be the ever of godless, uh, the second ever. But he says he says v'yesh ever base the mochim takef acher base shanim shal the yonika. So that happens immediately after they are yonik. Uh, L'tzorach vav vav kitzvus the godless, and this is for the the vav just the vok of the godless. So this is one way of looking at, I guess, the ever. The first is born out the vok of the godless. So it's like in the kriya shema, v'yesh ever base acher acher teishu shana v'yom echad. So then after this this age of nine nine years in a day, l'tzorach gar the godless. So it's like a little there. There's one ever. Uh, uh, to make the vok of godless and another another justification for to make the godless of uh, uh, the gar of godless. Now these these ideas are all worked together. What does it mean? I'd gone. We can see this the gar the godless. So you have to have an ever to produce just in in godless. Uh, you have uh, it sounds like this to me. It says at first you have to have a a, a, a zeranpin. And that's born out of Iberisho. Then you have to have, then you have, it sounds like there's two more, or he's saying that these are the only two, I'm not sure. The Iber base, and there has to be a second one, the Tzorach guard the godless, who Iber Shlishi. So actually, now, that's right. So now it's coming out to be a third one. Bezal the Shonda Badilas, it's another way. There's, there's more than one Iber. In other words, there's more than one time that in some way, uh, Zeranpin and the Nukva, uh, go up to the level of Ava Be'ima, and as a result of that, they receive Mochan the Godless. Ki, the he the Ravinik, Nechaz, the Eva, Rishon, the Godless, because the first thing that happens is a, is a conception in, um, in Godless. Vahem, Nai, Kululun, Bechagat. So this is the Gimel, Go Gimel. Vachaka, and so, somehow, the, so, somehow, this also produces Mochan, a Mochan the Godless. Vachaka, Dictus of Yenika the Katnus, and then you come to the stage of the Yenika the Katnus. The Zerah the Tome Bezer Anpen. So this is always, uh, I, I don't know what it means, but I think it gives you means this is always the case with Zer Anpen. Bachakach Be'ez a Kriya Shema, Bishma Yisrael. So this sound touches a little better. Yesh Ever Be'ez the Katnus, Betavuna. So now you're going to have another uh, Ever. This is, but this is going to be, he says, Yesh Ever Be'ez the Katnus. But Tavuna, but this is a Yiver that takes place as, yeah, I guess, in Tavuna, Yisro Sava Tavuna. For us, Nik Nasim, Mochin, Gemur, and the Katnus, then the complete Mochin of Katnus come in. Bechabad the Zer Anpin, into the Zer Anpin, uh, the Chabad the Zer Anpin. So now he has, he has divided this up further. So now that you have the Katnus, you also have two Ivurim over there. You have to have the first one, which reproduces the, the, the Vok of the, uh, of Katnus. And the second one that produces the gar of kindness. Va'achakach, oleh rebesel man b'midas echad. So therefore, you come on this place up into this time. He says that what you got here is the complete mochin to kindness. Then after that, when you get to the kriya shema and the midas echad, everything goes up in man. Va'az boyim lo pnimius. Then now he's saying he's changing. One is chitzonius, which is kindness. And what is that? We say. And then this makes it a pin, uh, the Pinimius of God. It goes into Pinimius of Zeranpin. Heim de Iver, Rechron, Bechina, Gimel, Kalula, Begimel. So here we says what? So here they are now. He says the first one, Iver, Rechon, is Gimel, Go, Gimel, is in gestation, original gestation. But Bechina's Valk, the Unica. So this makes the Valk of Unica. Okay, just the, the body of what's going to be in that stage of Katniss. So he says then, then he says, let's see where I'm at here now. So he said, excuse me, I'm mochin, the I'm mochin, the vok, the godless. So these are the mochin. Did I skip something? Let me see. No. No, I didn't. 
Okay, but hey, mamochen the vok the gadol. So this was happened. These are the mochen the vok the gadol. For achakach, the birchus abos, the elokeinu, the elokei abateinu. He says on that phrase, he says az ba ever gimel the gadol. Then comes another one when you get in other words, you get into that those three words elokeinu, the elokei abateinu. He says uh, or four words, I guess. Uh, uh, the gadol. The the nishlame mochen is there ante benimius. So now the mochen the benimius, in other words, the benimius which the godless are are fulfilled there. Adkan, the rebbe say for imah a a for shlema over there. You can see that man should be here because I am shom. Oh, I guess we're out of time. Okay, all right, that's the time here today. Uh, here we go.